Hello and welcome to this first part of the screencast of installing Solar 3.x, this can be 3.5 or 3.6, for Drupal 7. First of all, we need to have Solar on our local machine. I assume that you know how to get Drupal running. Um, so this is a tutorial to get Solar running with Drupal. So first of all, um, let's go to our Drupal site and press modules. Um, you have to download the module from drupal.org. You can find it on drupal.org slash project slash Apache Solar. Um, it looks like this. It's a bunch of information. Uh, and below you can download the latest beta, which I recommend to use. It's beta 19. Uh, there's no full version yet. There's no released uh, stable version yet but this should be one of the last betas uh, around. So let's go back to our empty Drupal. I have uh, downloaded Apache Solar and Fasted API. For now, we're just gonna install Solar. So enable our framework and enable the search, which is probably, well, which is the front end. So click save. So now we see that uh, Apache Solar is enabled. It tells us to visit the settings page. So we will do that. We click. And it tells us that our server is unavailable. This is very logical because we didn't even start our server yet. How do we start our server? We go to the tutorial and we follow the 10 steps that I wrote down. So the first two steps we already did, we enabled the Solar and Apache Solar search module. Now we have to download Apache Solar from a mirror near you. So let's click the link. And I will just go for the suggested link. I choose the zip, it doesn't really matter uh, which one you use. So we wait a little bit before the download finishes. This is 80 megabytes, it can take a little while. All right, there we go. So let's extract it. So we continue to extract it. Um, all right, it's just quite easy. And then we end up with some structure like this. Uh, I suggest that you put it in your server's folder. Uh, if you're working with OS X, uh, you might not even have a service folder. So just create one. You can see I have already some of them there. And this is our content uh, of server. So fine. We don't have to do much more than this. Let's take a look at what our tutorial tells us. Oh. Let's go back to our guide. So unpack it, unpack it in any directory you want. I suggest you use servers. And then go back to your Drupal site and copy the configuration of Solar into the example of Solar. So, okay, let's do that. So here we have our example directory. And you can see there's two folders. There's a solar folder and there's a multi-core folder. For now, we will just work with a single core solar. And we go to our module. And we see there's a folder called solar.conf. Take all of them. And you can just copy them in the configuration folder of Solar. Now you can see that we have multiple versions. We have a Solar 3.x version um, and a regular one. We will use a 3.x version because we're using Solar 3.x, 3.5 more specifically. So you can remove that from the file. And then let's see what our tutorial says. Okay, so far so good, we followed step five. We're almost there. We also renamed it 
um, to the normal schema. And now we can actually go to our comment. Okay, so here we have our comment prompt. Uh, and then let's go to our server's directory. All right, let's see what we have in here. There's a bunch of stuff here. Um, but for you, if you're following this tutorial for the first time, only the Apache Solar 3.5.0 um, is important. Okay, the tutorial says we have to go to examples. So we go to example. Let's see what's inside. We have a readme, example docs, multicore, lots of stuff. The important one is a start.jar. So let's type java minus jar start.jar. And you can see it's loading a bunch of stuff. And in the end, our solar is has started with port 8983. This is very important uh, to remember. Also, the guide tells you the same. So let's go back to our plain Drupal, go to the settings page, and then click on test connection. Normally, everything is filled in by default. Um, and if everything went well, you now have a message your site has contacted Apache Solar Server. OK, click Save. And you're done. You have connected your Drupal with the Apache Solar Server on your local machine. Uh, if you want to execute this on a server, you might want to use Tomcat. Um, but this is not what this tutorial is about. So good luck and uh, see you in the next tutorial screencasts.